In 2018, a six-year-old boy was scratched by a bat he found in a bucket. His parents washed the wound, but they relented when he cried about getting shots. Sadly, he died of rabies approximately three weeks later. Although this particular case ended tragically, rabies can be prevented. Rabies has been known for more than 4,000 years. Prevention initially consisted of avoiding bites by suspected rabid dogs until a vaccine was invented in 1885. After World War II, animal vaccination programs have helped limit the effect of rabies in the U.S. However, despite being 100% preventable, rabies remains a worldwide problem. Rabies is a zoonotic disease, meaning it is an infection common in animal populations that occasionally infects humans. All mammals are susceptible to rabies infection. The most dangerous and common type of rabies exposure is animal bites. The risk of transmission varies by the site of the bite, the severity of the wound, and the rabies virus variant. For instance, some bat virus variants may be more likely to cause infection after superficial exposures. Non-bite exposures are also possible. This includes scratches and mucous membranes or open wounds being exposed to saliva from a rabid animal. In the case of bat exposures, many patients don't recall being bitten. They only remember being in the same vicinity as a bat. This is why it is important to take bat exposures seriously by trying to safely capture the bat for testing and seeking medical advice. Rabies has also been transmitted between humans through organ transplantation. Unrecognized rabies in organ donors has resulted in transmission to the organ recipients. Rabies virus is typically present in the saliva of clinically ill mammals, and transmission between animals and humans usually occurs through animal bites or sometimes scratches. Rabid animals often display excessive salivation and abnormal or aggressive behavior, including biting, which helps the virus spread. Once infected, it can be months to years before symptoms develop, but if untreated, rabies travels to the brain and causes progressive encephalopathy, or inflammation of the brain. Rabies is almost always fatal once symptoms develop. But who gets rabies? Each year, rabies causes approximately 40,000 to 70,000 deaths worldwide, with a high percentage occurring in children. And more than 90% of human infections worldwide result from rabid dogs. In contrast, the U.S. averages only 2 to 3 cases of rabies per year, with only 25 human cases of rabies reported between 2009 and 2019. In addition, most U.S. infections can be attributed to wildlife, rather than rabid dogs. This is because canine rabies has been successfully controlled through vaccination programs in the U.S. Vaccination of domestic animals remains an important barrier for preventing rabies exposures. As a result, four major species are responsible for transmission of rabies in the U.S. In 2018, Bats accounted for 33% of all animal cases, followed by raccoons at 30%, skunks at 20%, and foxes at 7%. We can tell which animal is responsible for human infections because different rabies virus variants infect each animal. The variants are generally limited to specific geographic locations based on where the animal lives, but bat variants are found all over the continental U.S. This map shows the predominant animals testing positive for rabies across the country, but other species may also test positive in each location. In the next lesson, we will take a deeper look at rabies exposures and the course of rabies infection.